Hi guys, it's me Dr. Basili. I hope and pray that all of you are doing the best of what you can in these difficult times. So recently a student asked me a question which I thought was very relevant to the current batch of medicos and doctors and so I wanted to share it with you. So the question was, sir, I don't know when the exam is and I honestly don't care anymore whether it is next week or after 4 months. But what about our desire to learn and be a better doctor? Everyone is just going crazy about exam dates but missing a very important point. We are not giving NEET PG to become some sort of labor with the fancy name of JR1. We want to be clinically sound doctors. For that, we need exposure to a variety of cases, clinical skills, surgical skills, etc. But in the last 8 to 9 months of residency, we have dealt mostly with covid and have not seen many cases of our own speciality isn't this the real problem in the long run how can we deal with it right a valid question so i want to start by saying i fully understand your pain and sympathize with you in fact we are all experiencing this deprivation in some form or the other see i'm a specialist orthopedician but for many months i've been spending most of my time doing covid consultations and management even in the orthopedics wards the majority of my cases are emergency trauma it's been weeks since i did a replacement or arthroscopy my post graduates or residents are suffering equally all they see are covid cases or emergency fractures that too i work at a tertiary center and if that's the case here i can only imagine what is happening at the remote and peripheral centers so in these unprecedented times uh, this is the state of training everywhere schools are closed my kid who's recently turned 4 hasn't stepped foot in school and it looks like he will not this year even he has absolutely no clue or understanding of what a school is or what a classroom looks like for him a classroom is a virtual reality and his teacher is someone who happens to pop up on his ipad his only friends are the kids next door i'm not even sure if he knows how to make friends anymore yet when i look at it i see no alternative to this way of living because This is what we are now fighting for life from running after great ambitions luxuries and money we are now reduced to fighting for our own survival and definitely a war of this magnitude requires great sacrifices not by ourselves but by everyone earlier the burden of war was borne by soldiers now it's upon the shoulders of us our healthcare workers And although it is very disheartening and feels like a thankless job, it's up to our fraternity to step up and take on the responsibility. Yes, we are suffering and honestly yes, we are not getting paid enough. Our exams are getting postponed, our training is getting ruined and we are learning next to nothing. And because of all of this, we are at a massive disadvantage. But let us not give up hope just yet because now with the power of social media doctors are able to connect and come up with innovative solutions to the problems they are facing and i'm very glad that you have flagged this issue we should not let it go we should not adjust or compromise our learning and training what we need to do is think up ways to find solutions to this issue so should we undergo short term or intensive training programs once this pandemic is hopefully under control or should we be given internships or fellowships in good institutes to make up for the training that we missed what other solutions can you think of let's discuss it down in the comments and find a solution to these problems to move forward but for now i urge you not to lose hope we can always train in the future if we are alive and healthy let us now focus on the crisis at hand that is survival and do our best to keep ourselves and our countrymen safe let's simultaneously flag up the issues and work together to come up with solutions that can help us in the long run yes i agree that we are losing precious time but time is only as precious as the amount of life it contains so let us live fully let us feel the pride of serving our country the warmth of sacrifice the pain of hard work the crushing weight of failure and the wonderful glory of success and once this is conquered we can all get back to our lives we might lose a few years here and there but at least we will be together 
all right don't forget to hit like and subscribe and most importantly do let me know if you like this format of short q and a in the comments maybe we can do more i guess that's it i will see you on the other side till then stay safe take care bye bye